I'm always blessed when I hear that song. So the heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaim his handiwork. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining me for Word Empowerment Wednesday. Um, listen, I, I don't know about you, but this has been a week, and we're only on Wednesday. Um, it started on Saturday until now, but I dare not complain because through it all, God is still good. Amen. In fact, I like to say that God is great because chicken and cabbage and all of that is good, but God is better than all of that. So we give God all the glory and we give him all the honor this morning. We bless his holy name and we dare not take it for granted for him allowing us to see another day that we've never seen before. In fact, the psalmist declare in one Psalms 118 and 24, he said, For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad in it. And with that being said, I would like for, to, for you to turn your attention to the very beginning of the Bible, to the book of Genesis chapter 8, and we're going to read verses 1 and 2. And I am going to be reading it out of the International Standard Version. And the word reads like this. Again, it's Genesis chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. A very familiar passage of scripture. Um, I had to go back and read it. Um, so it goes like this in the ISB. It says that God kept Noah in mind, along with all the wildlife and livestock that were with him in the ark. God's spirit moved throughout the earth, causing the flood waters to subside. The water sources from the ocean depths were blocked, and the floodgates of heaven were closed. Amen. And so I just read Genesis chapter 8, verses 1 and 2 out of the ISV. And I want to read that second verse again. And it says that the water sources from the ocean depths were blocked, and the floodgates of the heavens were closed. So today's word for today and for the remainder of the week is blocked. Um, the thought, I have two thoughts, and, and the Lord released them unto me. So we're going to go with God, let it rain. The subtopic would be God has not forgotten. Um, this weekend, it seemed as though everywhere <laughs> I went, there was some sort of roadblock. Um, the way that seemed to be much easier for me became very long, and I had to take detours. And as my aunt would um, preach about a couple of weeks ago, she said, rerouted. It seems like I have been rerouting ever since Saturday, believe it or not. Places that should have been open and made available to me, I had to reroute, my God. 
And it could have been very easy for me to complain, but I thought about how God blocked and how he shielded me from accidents, from dangers seen and unseen. And so when we look at the word block, what does it mean? And I'm glad that you asked this morning, because according to the Cambridge um, English Dictionary, it means it's something that's blocked that no one or nothing can move through it. So as we look at rain, rain symbolizes growth and fertility, um, rebirth, cleansing, and calmness. And so many times we look at our adversities, our letdowns, our rerouting in a bad way. And sometimes we complain and get upset because truthfully, we don't understand the why or the how uh, or what is to come of this. But if we will be honest this morning, then we all can agree that trouble and adversities and letdowns are inevitable. They are going to come. Jesus said in John 16 and 33, he said, I have said these things to you, that in me you have peace. Because in this world you're going to have, you will have tribulation. But then he tells us to take heart. We don't have to worry about anything. Why? Because he has overcome the world. And then the prophet Isaiah, he gave us some good news. He said that when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. You may be in a place right now that seems impossible. But I come to let you know this morning that God specializes in things that seems impossible. The psalmist declared that God is our protection and he is our strength. He always helps us in times of trouble. So we don't have to be afraid, even if the earth shakes, mm, or the mountain fall into the sea. We have a God that is always there. So this morning, as we look at the text, like I said, it's a very familiar text. We all have read about Noah. Um, uh, many of us have um, had this in vocational Bible school. We, we talked about him in Bible study. We talked about him um, over the years. But as we look at this text this morning, God told Noah to go into the ark. And the good news is that he didn't send him alone. Mm. He was allowed to take his wife, his three sons, and their wives. And then God told him to take animals, pair of them, um, clean and unclean animals. And then God told Noah that the rain was going to start in seven days. And God closed Noah in the family and the animals in the ark. And the rain started just as God said for 40 days and 40 nights. And so the Bible says now that the ark began to rise with the flood and it rolled to the surface of the waters. And after 40 days of the rain, the waters continued to triumph on the earth for another 110 days before the ark finally came to rest. And the scripture said that the water was on the earth for 150 days. And even though the water was on the earth 150 days, this is the good part that blessed me. God remembered Noah. Mm. In the Hebrew, what that means is God thought about or he turned his attention to. It means to take care of. Mm. He kept Noah in mind along with all the wildlife and the livestock that were in the ark with him. And the Bible says that God's spirit began to move throughout the earth, and it caused the floodwaters to subside. Can I minister to someone this morning? God has not forgotten you. You may be enduring the darkest time of your life, you may not understand why the spouse walked out the door or why you're dealing with health issues or why is your child out on the street. But just know that in this life, there's going to be some storms. But good news is that storms don't last always. You hear me say that all the time, and I'm going to continue to say it until you get it in your spirit. Every now and then, we need some rain to come in our lives. Because what rain do, it begin to nourish us. It begin to help us to grow. If there's no rain, the flowers will die. If there's no rain, the ducks have no water to um 
to float on. We need some rain in our lives. This weekend, I call myself taking a shorter route only to get rerouted, which caused me to drive out of my way. Yet, I got to where I needed to get to, just not at the time I expected. Listen, right now, you may not feel, you may feel like you're on a roller coaster that you're going around and around, and it seems like there's no end, but just like I had, <laughs> it took me a while to get to where I need to get to, you're going to have to do the same. You have to learn how to wait in this season, my God. And so now the Bible tells us that the water continued to recede. And after 40 days, Noah opened up the window of the ark, and he sends out a raven. And the raven went to and fro, but all he was doing was eating up the carcasses and returning to rest. Sometimes you got some people in your life that you just got to release because all they come to do is to eat off of you and not to give you anything in return. And so now the Bible says he began, oh God, to use the dove and he sends the dove out and the dove come back and his feet was wet and dirty, which gave Noah some hope. That means to my God that the land is drying up. So he sends him back out again after seven days. And the Bible said that the dove returned with an olive leaf in his beak. Do you know what an olive leaf represents? It represents peace and the end of God's judgment. Can I encourage somebody this morning? God is a restorer. Mm. When things seem unbearable, when things seem hopeless, we can trust and believe and take God at his word. Paul said in Philippians 4 and 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Many times we just got to get in the face of God. We got to seek God. We got to trust him even when we can't track or trace them. Yes, you may be, my God, in this world, but the Bible says we're in this world, we, but we are, we are not of this world. God is a restorer, and this is the good news. He said, be strong, be courageous, do not fear a dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor will he forsake you. So Noah had to go through a process. He had to wait. He didn't immediately exit out of the ark, my God. And he had to be still, just like you have to be still in this season. You got to be still before the Lord. You got to wait patiently in him. And the Bible said, fret not yourself over the one who prosper in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Understand that God holds everything in the palm of his hand. He knows exactly what he is doing. You may not see it. You may not understand it, but understand he controls the wind. He controls the rain. And the Bible says, there was a question asked in Proverbs 30 and 4 and it said, who has ascended to the heaven and come down? Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? My God. What is his name? And what is his son's name and then it goes on to say surely you know we know that there's power in the name of Jesus the Bible says that the righteous can run into his name and guess what they are safe there's no way in the world that you can run into a building and be safe but if you run into the name of Jesus just his name alone that lets us know that we are safe my God my God, understand this morning that it takes some time. I know I had some roadblocks this weekend. I know that it took me the longer route, and, and I started to get frustrated. I saw all I want to do is get home, and the Bible just, you know, and God just, just settled my spirit. He settled my spirit, my God. And I begin to think about what could have happened. Mm. Many times we get so anxious, we get so annoyed by things, we get so distracted by things, and many times time we just need to be still be quiet and let God do what he needs to do because the fact of the matter is he is in control <laughs> yes he is and nothing happens except he's allowing so why not just be still and let God be 
God, my God. And so the Bible said that God protected and that he shielded Noah in the midst of the flood. Oh, God, he sent the rain to restore and to replenish. Did you catch that? He sent the rain to restore and to replenish. God had to get rid of those that didn't want to act right. My God, he had to get rid of those people that just didn't want to do right. Good morning. And I say to you this morning, God has not forgotten you. Even in the midst of that, Noah was shut up in the ark. Mm. In the midst of it all, he was shut up in the ark. And I'm sure for all those days, for 40 days and 40 nights, I don't know what Noah was thinking. The Bible doesn't tell us, but I can just imagine. He was probably um, like, you know what? If God told me to build this ark, then I know he's got me. Although I feel the ark moving, I know he has me because I know what God said. That's so important. We have got to remember what God said. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what they say. As long as you know what God says, that's all that matter. And many times people look at you like you're crazy. No, because they don't understand. They don't know what God has told you. But understand this in this season, in this walk of life, you got to listen to the voice of God. You got to know it is God and you got to be obedient, my God. So I say to you, even though the water was rising, it took days. Can you imagine 40 days and 40 nights? Many of us had a, um, <laughs> had a problem when we had to be quarantined last year. You know, you expect me to stay in this house for how long? Come on. Look at Noah. Noah stayed for 40 days and 40 nights, and that still did not um, come out after that, after the rain. He stayed in there. The Bible said the water was on the earth for 150 days. But guess what? Verse 2 says that God blocked the water. He, he shut it off. He protected and he shielded Noah. Mm. And verse 1 says he remembered. God did not forget. So I say to you this morning, I don't know what you're walking through. I don't know what you're faced with. But guess what? God has not forgotten you, my God. He has not forgotten you. And don't forsake the rain. We all need rain. Many times you think about rain, and I know even... um. <laughs> You know, when it starts to rain, you're like, oh, God, I got to travel in this. I can't see in the rain. But guess what? We need the rain so that we can grow. Every day is not going to be a day of sunshine. Every day is not going to be a day of, 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 of happiness. you got to have some rain. And understand that it's in the valley. It's in the valley now that you grow. In those hard times, you're not going to have a mountaintop experience every day and every time. Listen, I use this analogy a lot, but I want you to think about it. Have you ever seen anybody go from mountaintop to mountaintop? If you have, please let me know. I haven't never seen it. you got to go on a mountain, and then you've got to go in a valley. And it's in those valley days, those days that are raining, those days when it is storming, that God can grow us, that we can, um, my God, grab hold of him, and where we can, and where he can put us into a place where we can know, okay, God, I need you. So understand this. you got to have some rain. God just let it rain. And understand that God has not forgotten you let us pray father we thank you we bless you god we honor you and we bless you god we thank you for this word this morning many times god we don't understand but god i thank you that you understand that you know all about it god i thank you this morning father god that you said in your word that you'll never leave us nor will you forsake us i thank you this morning father for every storm i thank you for the rain this morning i thank you lord god 
because I've come to understand that troubles don't last always. I thank you this morning, Father God, and even in the midst of it all, when Noah had he had the uh, had to be in the ark for so long, but God protected him. He shielded him. Oh God, and I thank you this morning, Father God, and even in that, you didn't forget about Noah. I thank you this morning that your promises are yes and amen. I thank you this morning, Father God, that if you said it, you're going to do it. So God, we thank you, Lord, for even what our ears have heard on this morning. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives. Many times it don't feel good. The question of the all don't feel good, but God, it produced victory. So God, we thank you and we bless you this morning. So God, we thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. God, even in the storm, God, I pray that you would teach us to how to weather the storm. I pray this morning, Father God, that you would teach us, Father God, how to walk and how to endure, how to wait in you, Father God. So God, we bless you, God, and we honor you and we thank you, Father God. We give you glory and we give you honor. We give you praise, oh God, just for being who you are. Now, God, we seal this, this word, we seal this prayer by the blood of Jesus. And God, we come against the spirit of backlash, delay, or immediate. We counsel every plot and scheme of the enemy. And God, we say, Father God, that you are God and God alone. In Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Listen tonight. You can go to Seeking the Face of God ministry page. You can go to Seeking the Face of God online Bible study page. Or you can go to my page, Kimberly Perkins Furby. Or you can go to Kimberly Furby and you can find a flyer that has the updated um, phone number for calling in for, um, for prayer tonight. Tonight we will be praying at 8.30 p.m. Um, it's just normally we just pray for about 30 minutes. Um, whatever the Lord um, chooses to do. So you can join us and call in on tonight by way of conference call. Now, if you can come tonight, I invite you to this awesome teaching that the Lord has been teaching us on Monday nights. Are we really friends? Are we really friends? Listen, this book is um, phenomenal. It's by Dr. Patricia McLeod. Um, that's M-C-L-E-O-D. Um, you can find this book on Amazon, or you can Google it, and you can find it at Walmart, um, um, different places where you can find this book, and it's available. But look, I don't want you to be discouraged, because if you don't have the book, it's perfectly okay. I recommend the book because it has questions, and it can help you um, later on. And you might be asking, why are you studying this book? I'm glad you asked. The reason why we're studying this book, because the enemy desires, my God, to wreak havoc over relationship. Even from the very beginning, considering um, Adam and Eve, he wanted to destroy relationship. And so this book has been bringing healing. Um, I know the ones that come on the line on Monday night, and I can truly speak for myself, it has been healing and it has been nurturing. It has been a refresher. It has been opening up our eyes. And, and, and through this book, we have been dialoguing. We have been uh, making comments. And so... I, I just thank God for at this time and in this season that God has given us an opportunity to study out of this book. So that is by way of um, conference call as well. So if you can't join us on Monday night at 8 p.m., Please join us back here and invite a friend for Word Empowerment Wednesday. I don't know what the Lord is going to do next week, but we're going to come back and see what he has to say to us. Join us at 5 a.m. by way of Seeking the Face of God um, um, ministry page. And I say God bless you this morning and something great is going to happen for you. How do I know this? Because we serve a great, great God. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day and blessed and wonderful week. God bless you.